Continue our team coverage of reopening Texas with a closer look at how some businesses are trying to find a way around the governor's executive order. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live near Katy tonight with a look at how some gyms are now struggling with all of this. Brittany? And Chris, many of these gym owners tell me that right now they're just trying to adapt, uh, attempting to try to keep their clientele. I spoke with the owner of this gym here, and he tells me he doesn't know what's going to happen to his business. The reality is, is I can't pay my landlord, and they're going to lock me out eventually. It's a weight that George Giles can't carry much longer. He's the owner of CrossFit Hippo near Katy. We have to sell everything. Gyms weren't included in the first wave of the governor's order to reopen Texas. Without a running start in May, we, we were losing members daily. So the hill we had to climb to get back up into being a solvent business uh, became unattainable. On May 1st, Giles went against the order and opened his doors. He said so a coach could train a small group. But Harris County Fire Marshals say someone filed a complaint. In walk the fire marshals and um, explained to me that we're not allowed to, to do that. The owner of Fulcher CrossFit Gym says he had to make some major adjustments since the order as well. We were offering all of our classes face to face. Um, like everyone else, and we had to immediately switch to online. Brian White says all training went virtual. Inside the facility, the weights are on the racks and kettlebells and ropes untouched. They've just recently started training clients one-on-one -on -one outside. We've started that with one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, maintaining social distance. I did check in with the Harris County Fire Marshal's office and they did confirm that they received a complaint at this location on May 1st. They say that they sent fire marshals out here and at the time no one was in violation of the order, but they do say that they tried to educate the owner here about uh, how the first phase will work. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.